There's no doubt it is eye-catching and provocative. Women dressed in skimpy clothing vying for men's attention, hoping to turn bucks into breasts. It's called MyFreeImplants.com, where women who can't afford to buy bigger breasts interact with virtual donors through chats and pictures, who then bankroll the enhancement surgery. Oh, boy. Surprise, surprise. Um, no, really, I think that uh, consumers better beware. We gave Dr. Caroline Glicksman her first look at the controversial website. The board-certified plastic surgeon from New Jersey, who performs hundreds of breast augmentations each year, is concerned that younger women could be lured by the cheaper price tag. And I just certainly hope that nobody's daughter goes for this. You know, that's what I'd be afraid of, the younger girls going, um, because they don't have the finances or the resources to, uh, to really get a better, safer procedure. Beyond safety, critics see issues with privacy. Women are encouraged to use an alias and never list phone numbers, but at the same time, they post pictures and are told to get to know people to pump up their benefactor donations. It's basically camming for cash. And... Um, by virtue of being associated with the source of that revenue, the plastic surgeon becomes uh, tarnished. Boston plastic surgeon Dan Del Vecchio questions the business sense of those physicians willing to be involved with the website. There might be surgeons who really see this as a business opportunity. Personally, I think it's probably not good for one's reputation. The website does list all of the surgeons connected to MyFreeImplants.com. They're all listed right here. The ones with the stars are supposedly the partners in this operation. We did call one of those. Dr. Ted Eisenberg out of Philadelphia, a staff member there, told me that he's only done a handful of these augmentations. I did send an email. I didn't get a response back. Now, we did find it a little bit baffling because also on this list is the founder of the Plastic Surgery Channel, Dr. Bill Adams. Now, Dr. Adams didn't sign up for this. In fact, he's never done a single breast augmentation related to MyFreeImplants.com. MyFreeImplants does tout plenty of satisfied women who say they were flat broke and flat chested and found a way up and apparently out with the help of MyFreeImplants. But some say beware when it comes to something as serious as surgery. Free may not be the best investment when you're talking about your body. Don Tongish reporting for the Plastic Surgery Channel.